Before starting the tutorial, I just want to mention that you can get the blend file for free on Gumroad as a node group ready for any project you want. The material works in Eevee and of course also in Cycles. Let's make the material. The main ridges are created with the Voronoi node set to F2. I added a color ramp node to make the ridges sharper and mixed it with a noise texture to get some variation. The output drives the bump of a principled BSDF. Now let's add the roughness variation. This is done with a musgrave with maximum detail and low dimension. Now we can add the lines that make it look like multiple plates. Add a brick texture and set the height and width to the same value. Then decrease the mortar size and increase the smoothness. Instead of using the color output, use the factor so you don't get a random value per block. Connect the factor to a mix node to make the gaps have a different color than the rest of the metal. The most obvious issue is that the gaps don't affect the bump. To do this, add an invert node and multiply it with the bump node's input. I also added a value node with the math node set to snap with an increment of 2. This looks at the value and rounds it to the nearest multiple of 2. Use this as the scale for your Voronoi node. You'll see why later. The next step is to align the panels with the pattern. Don't forget to set the metallic slider to 1. Add a texture coordinate node with the mapping node connected to the object vector. Connect it to the Voronoi, Noise, and Musgrave nodes. Rotate it by 45 degrees around the z-axis so that the tiles don't intersect with the ridges. Connect the texture coordinate to the brick texture and change the scale until everything lines up. Tweak the values until you have something that you like. And that's it. Again, you can download the node group for free on Gumroad to use in your projects. To use it, append the node tree called Metal Sheets and apply it to your objects. I hope you enjoyed. See ya!